Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group, and it's the independent group. So uh, let's jump right into Jeffrey's Library of Congress photo. How do we fix this? There's going to be a lot of stuff that we need to work on here, and maybe we don't want to keep the edges. You might want to because it's a library picture, but for our purposes, we'll maybe, maybe take some of it out. Um, let's first start by getting rid of this big... Uh, break in the glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the magic tool and set it at, I don't know, let's say 30% and I'm going to click it in here and see how much it grabs. So you see it ended up grabbing, grabbing a bunch of other stuff here. Let me unlock the photo. If I hit delete, you're going to see that it actually deleted a bunch of the photo by using the uh, magic eraser. So the magic tool. So we're not going to do that. I think that's a bad idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab half of this photo and then squeeze it down to match the other half. Um, if I use the polygon tool, it's going to be sharp, and I'm going to need to uh, soften it anyway. So I'm going to unlock the, fo the photo, <clears throat> and I'm going to first um, take an eraser and make this a soft edge. And so let's choose a soft brush here. Make it, I don't know, let's say five points. So it's nice and thin. I don't want to take too much of the original photo away. So you can see I'm erasing just a slight portion. I'm actually almost on the line here. And hopefully when we merge the two parts together, it's not going to uh, lose too much. That's the main thing on this picture because it is a uh, part of a Library of Congress photo that we really don't want to lose anything. So now I'm going to zoom in and cut out the, uh, the uh, upper right half of the photo and in between that eraser edge that I just did. So I'm going to click the polygon tool. Oops. I want to go that come down here and just kind of carefully go in between the two halves making sure not to encroach or cut anywhere on top of either part and we double click to join both halves of the polygon and I'm going to right click and hit cut. Now we have two portions. The upper right is one portion up here and I can turn uh, turn that off and show the bottom left portion. The bottom left still has some black but it's okay because we're going to take the top half and literally I'm going to go here to the uh, choosing tool, choose that half and I'm going to hit the left key and you can see the two halves are going to merge together. And see, it works good on the bottom, but the top is, is bigger. So what we're going to do is slightly rotate this. I'm going to click this little round circle down here, and I'm going to put a minus 35 points. And we'll hit OK on that and just merge it together a little bit. Okay, so once we got that going, that we lost the line. I'm going to go ahead and merge these two pieces down. So I'm going to take the top layer, merge down, and that makes it into one piece. Um, next, let's work on the edges. So we're just going to do a little bit of filling in because there's not much, you know, a lot of these trees, it looks the same, looks similar. So we can grab the polygon tool, the um, lasso, and look for spots that are similar. So if I go like this, I know there are other tools, but this one seems to be, I'm going to copy that, seems to work the best. I'm going to bring that up here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close, because what they don't know is, isn't going to hurt them. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, and that way I can take the eraser tool, and let's get something like a... 15 point edge. I'm going to turn off the background and soften this layer, the edges, so that it blends better 
when I turn on the background, you're not going to be able to tell that new layer is there. And I'm going to right click here and merge down. <clears throat> okay, there's a couple other little ones. I like this white one here. We can grab a piece from down here and fill that in. Done. Okay, I like that there. I'm going to right click on this and merge that down. And we got a little bit on the edge here. You know, they're just trees, you know, they're just bushes, so it's not, no one's going to notice, you know, what has been really added. Turn off the background again and soften the edge with a 25 point soft brush eraser. And turn the background back on and we'll toggle the top on and off. Okay, now we're going to come down a little bit. There's a piece missing here. Once again, grab the lasso. We can, since it's close by, we can just continue what was there with a little bit of stuff from right before. The problem just disappears. And let's move down to, I'm going to fill this in. Once again, I'll grab the lasso tool and let's see if we want to fill in with a little piece of this tire. And I'll have to grab some from here. And right click and copy. Take that whole portion and consider the circle of the tire in its angle that we want to replace a little bit right here. Right around there. And I could just smudge this a little bit to fill in this portion. It's really pixelated, so smudging is not really recommended that much. So we can try the spot fixer here and uh, get the smallest point as possible to encircle the points that you want. Make sure that this sample all layers is picked. And boom, and you can see these little portions here are going to be fixed kind of almost automatically. On this one, let's try a bigger brush. I'm not sure if that's going to really work, but let's try this uh, 25 point. See what happens. Boom. 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 It worked. <laughs> I'm surprised. So these bigger, so you got to be careful. You don't see the circles. Let's go to our cropping tool, which is right here, and inadvertently just make a um, a crop that's kind of close to what we want and let go. Now we can do fine tune the crop to exactly what we want. And I'm going to cut in just enough so that we don't get that outside stuff. And yes, we do lose a little bit of, of information on the outside beyond the photo, but I, you know, something like this looks so much better okay well this is it this is this photo fixed i suppose we could spend more time doing it but this looks great i think and it's hard to tell that it's been touched up um so this is it for this tutorial rich uh, calling it quits saying over and out